If you just broke a bone, you really might not be so unlucky. Well, what? Well, there's a lot of things you could injure in your body. Tendons, ligaments, cartilage, muscles, etc. And if all you do is break a bone, then let's just say it could be worse. That's because bones are one of the more predictable healers in the body. To understand why, you have to understand some bone basics. Bone basics. There are 206 bones that make up an adult skeleton. These bones help make up our skeletal system. They provide attachment sites for muscles and let us move by means of joints. Bones protect our internal organs, especially our brain, spinal cord, heart, and lungs. And bones support us in life. Without them, we might look like a slug. They're also what we leave behind long after death. Yet don't be fooled, bones are just as alive as any other tissue you have. In fact, did you know that throughout your life, you constantly lose old bone while you make new bone? Kids form bone faster than they lose bone. And even after kids stop growing taller, they continue to make more bone than they lose, and that's because the bones continue to get denser until they reach what doctors call peak bone mass, aka the greatest amount of bone you'll ever have. It usually happens sometime between the ages of 18 and 25. The more bone you have at this time, the less likely you are to break a bone or get osteoporosis later in life. Here is what a bone looks like. Notice that it's not a solid mass. If it were, it'd be really heavy. Instead, only the outside cortical bone is solid with just a few small canals. The inside of the bone contains trabecular bone, which is like scaffolding or honeycomb. The spaces between are filled with fluid bone marrow cells. These bones actually make our blood and some fat cells. Now here's what happens when you break a bone. The first thing that will happen is inflammation. There's bleeding in the area leading to blood clotting. This provides the initial structural stability and framework to produce new bone. Then the blood clot is replaced with fibrous tissue and cartilage. As the healing progresses, this is replaced with hard bone. Over the next several months, the bone will start remodeling. It becomes compact, returning to its original shape. Then, once you've healed enough, you can start loading on weight. In fact, weight bearing will actually encourage more bone remodeling and strengthening. And the funny thing about bones in general is that the more stress you put them under, the stronger they become. Our own body weight keeps our bones strong to some degree. Astronauts in space, for instance, do weights and physical activity specifically to keep their bones strong. If not, the zero gravity environment would severely weaken their bones. That is also the reason that weights are so important for everyone to do, especially the older you get. This added stress on bones keeps them strong. It seems counterintuitive at times, but that's part of how knowing your bone basics will help you live happier and healthier lives. Sportology. Hey, thanks for watching, and make sure you check out the rest of our basics videos here on this playlist, including tendons, ligaments, muscles, cartilage, cortisone, and more. And for those of you who haven't subscribed, we're putting out all sorts of videos about the fundamentals of our body. Subscribe to see our new ones every month. We're going to pick the six most common injuries that happen, and we're going to walk through what they are and uh, what movements might hurt with different ones so that you can actually figure out what is happening to your shoulder.